Let's take you out right now. Our little uh, little rain out there in parts of the state. It's what is it? <laughs> it's ringmaster. Ringmaster. <laughs> Ring leader uh, does illegal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. New Preston, good morning to you. Warren, <laughs> West Morris, Washington, Gaylordsville. You guys are all getting wet. Let me widen out the shot. There's not a whole lot of rain that's going to be making its way through. You can see it's pushing through right now. So by about 8, 9 o'clock this morning, it is going to be done. Uh, Southeast Connecticut, you guys, let me stop the uh, motion for you. You can see just a little bit of that rain, but now most of it is in Rhode Island. No lightning, no thunder, but believe it or not, earlier this morning, there was a tornado warning just outside of Boston, to the north and to the east of Boston. Crazy weather. Boy, I'm talking about it. unbelievable crazy weather. Typical overnight low is 31. Remember that when I show you the numbers because they're unbelievable. The normal high is 49. It can get as cold as 9 degrees just about three years ago. Uh, 9 degrees, very chilly. 72 degrees set back in 1931. All right, the visibility is pretty good out there this morning. The roads are wet, though. Just exercise caution. So showers to start. I just showed you them on early warning dual pole radar. And as you can see, the temperatures, now that that front is starting to move through, the temperatures are going to drop back a bit, and then they'll rise a little bit. But we're experiencing our highs right now. You can see where that frontal boundary is. 34 in Cleveland, 26 in Chicago, 19 in Minneapolis, St. Paul. These numbers come to our state tomorrow morning. It's going to be pretty cold around here tomorrow morning. And today's tomorrow's daytime highs don't get out of the upper 30s and low 40s. That's how cold it's going to get tomorrow. All right, the winds this morning out of the south, southwest, not too horrendous, anywhere from 6, but 16 miles an hour sustained in Groton. That's pretty impressive. ICAMs across Connecticut stores, good morning to you. You can see the overcast conditions. You've got mostly overcast conditions in New London. You can see the pavement there is a little bit wet. 56 degrees, though. It's just unbelievably balmy out there, but tomorrow morning, those numbers are not going to be anywhere near where they are this morning. Partly cloudy later on this afternoon. You're going to notice the rain icons turn off by about 8 o'clock. And then we're under partly to mostly cloudy skies for the remainder of the day. And then tonight we're going to completely clear things out. And then tomorrow looks good. Wednesday looks good. Thursday looks good. But the temperatures for tomorrow and Wednesday are going to be a little on the chilly side. Daytime highs today climb into the upper 40s, low 50s. Showers ending. And then look at this forecast. Pretty good. The next chance for any rain won't come until Friday, and uh, it's looking kind of wet for Friday as a cold front makes its way through. Might mix with a little bit of snowflake action Friday night into Saturday morning. But then the weekend coming up looks good, but it's going to be downright chilly for doing some uh, holiday shopping. And notice tomorrow, though, 40 degrees with the wind, and that wind is going to make it feel substantially colder. So bundle up tomorrow, but today it's a balmy one.